All right, hello everybody. We did part one of this video last week. It's now time for part two of my full NFL season predictions. This is going to be really fun, so let's jump right into it. Here we go, and let's remember, let's remind ourselves, right? What are the storylines? Who is good right now? Who is bad? Who is on a good streak? So starting things right off, AFC in the south, the Jaguars, 8-1. and one. They are steamrolling the entire league. They have the best record in football, the Titans, Four and five, still kind of hanging around in that wild card race, and the Colts and the Texans are bad. We got the NFC North. Steelers and Bengals are both six and three. Browns five and four. Ravens five and five. So all four teams in this division are doing pretty well right now. In the uh, in the West, we get the Chiefs and Broncos at six and three. The Raiders are six and four, and the Chargers are four and five, still hanging around. And then over here in the uh, in the AFC East, all four teams are above five hundred with. New England, surprisingly, above the Bills in the tiebreaker, 6-4. and four. They lead that division right now. That's crazy. In the NFC, things are looking a little more normal. Seattle and San Francisco are both good. Rams, average. Cardinals are bad. The Eagles and Cowboys, they're battling for control of the East. Giants have lost seven of their last eight games. They are 3-7, and seven, and the Commanders also 3-7. and seven. Lions are on top of the... NFC North, but only by half a game over Minnesota. Bears still hanging around in that division as well. And in the AF and the NFC South, the Saints are four and six, and yet they lead the division. That's the worst division in football. So we're in week eleven. We have eight more weeks to go. This is going to be fun. So here we go. Starting things off, Thursday night football. Ravens, Bengals. Ravens are five and five. They need a win bad right now to stay alive in the playoff picture. And I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with the Ravens to get this win. So the Bengals, Joe Ice Burrow is now six and four. Ravens are six and five. Uh, Dolphins against the Raiders. I like Miami here off the bye. So Miami six and four. Raiders are six and five. And just like that, the Dolphins jump ahead of them. Browns, Steelers. I like the Browns. The Browns are now six and four. And you can see here, all four of those teams are six and four. And then the Jaguars against the Titans. I, I'll take the Tennessee. I'll take Tennessee on the upset. Jags can't win every game. Uh, did the Jags already beat the Titans this year? You know, maybe I'll change. I'll give the Jags this win. I might give the Titans that one. So we'll give the Jags that one. Jags are nine and one. They stay hot. Jets, Bills. Ooh, have the Jets already played the Bills? We they they did. They lost to the Bills the first time. Uh, this time. It's going to be a different story because the Jets are going to beat the Bills, and the Jets are now six and four. Bills six and five. Look at this. Bills are six and five. They're out of the playoffs. So are the Bengals. Really? Texans, Cardinals. Ooh, the Cardinals three and seven. Can they get their win on the road? No, they cannot. Texans win that game. Packers, Chargers. Um, I'll take this. The Chargers. I'll take my chances with uh, Los Angeles. So L A Chargers five and five right there. They're still hanging alive in the playoff race as well. Packers three and seven. Not a great season for them. Broncos in Denver, but the Vikings, they come to town hungry for blood. I think the Vikings win this game. This is going to be a big upset, and now you can see the Broncos. They had a hot start. They were 6-2, and two, but now they've lost two in a row, and all of a sudden, are the Broncos falling apart? They're now 6-4. and four. What's happening to Denver? What's happening to Russell Wilson? What's happening to Sean Payton? Uh, the Chiefs, they don't know what's happening, but they don't care. They're going to go to Philadelphia and win that game in a Super Bowl rematch on Monday Night Football. Eagles, they're now 6-4. and four. Look at this. The Eagles started off 4-0, but since they were 5-1, and one, but since their 5-1 and one start, they have now gone one of their last three, and the Eagles are struggling with, uh, with a loss there. So the Eagles, 6-4. and four. Will they even hang on to the division? I don't know. The Chiefs, they're 7-3. and three. The Chiefs are back. They're the number two seed. In the AFC, they look like they're going to be just fine after they started off two and two, but we all knew it didn't matter. It's the Kansas City Chiefs. It's Patrick Mahomes. They're seven and three. Lions against the Bears. The Lions, I think they win this game, uh, six and four now. So the Lions are starting to build some really solid momentum. You can see the Lions win, loss, win, 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 loss, win, win. So the Lions are five and one in their last six games, and they're now six and four overall. Uh, Panthers, Cowboys, I like the Cowboys in this game. The Cowboys are now tied with the Eagles at 6-4 and four atop their division. Panthers fall to 3-7. and seven. Uh, Giants beat the Commanders. The Giants are now 4-7. and seven. They are, you know, They're still kind of making some noise in the wild card, but not really. Uh, 49ers beat the Bucks. Bucks are 3-7. And, and finally, the Rams with the upset. Do they get the upset? I'll give it to them. Rams with the upset over Seattle. So Seattle and San Fernando are now both 7-3. And the Rams at 5-5, five and five, they are half a game behind Minnesota 
for the wild card. So move on to week 12. Uh, we start things off with a Thursday night. Okay, so this is Thanksgiving week. Uh, we'll do the Thanksgiving games first. So we got the Lions against the Packers. Give me the Lions. They're seven and four. The Lions stay hot. They win at home on Thanksgiving. And at seven and four, Detroit is all of a sudden one of the best teams in football. They were they were uh, the the Lions who started the season one and three, and they are now six and one in their last seven games. The Lions are rolling right now. Jared Goff, he's rolling. Amon Ross St. Brown, then the Lions. Look at that. They're going to make the playoffs. First time in a while. Cowboys against the Washington Commanders. Again, give me the Cowboys at home on Thanksgiving. You love this matchup. Cowboys are 7-4. and four. They are looking good. Seattle, San Fran. This is always a hard game to pick. I have. They haven't played yet this year. I'll take the Seahawks on Thanksgiving to win this game. So the Seahawks are now 8-3. and three. They're the number one seed. In the NFC, let's go Seattle. I love the Seahawks this year. You know it. Uh, I'll get rid of that for you. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna dismiss that. Um, Falcons against the Saints. Who do we got in this game? Uh, give me the Falcons. Falcons make some noise. Atlanta gets the win at home. They're now atop the division at four and seven. Uh, then we've got both of those teams off of a bye, by the way. We got the Cardinals and the Rams. I like the Rams to win this game on the road. Rams are now six and five, and the Vikings Bears. I'll take Minnesota to win that one. So the Vikings are now seven and five, as they have been playing a much better brand of football as of late. Then we go uh, the Friday night game. It's the it's the Jets and the Dolphins. Aaron Rodgers he will win this game. The Jets are seven and four, and Aaron Rodgers here he comes. He was two and four. They've now won five straight. Look at this. Win, win, win 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 against some decent teams too the the bills the dolphins the jets are starting to stack some wins up right now and you're starting to say to yourself is aaron Rodgers and the jets gonna make the playoffs how about that Bengals, steelers Bengals win that game Bengals are now seven and four steelers at six and five they've lost back-to-back -back games they're out of the playoff picture now texans jags and here comes the texans upset win against the jags jags fall to nine and two uh broncos uh, against the Cleveland Browns. I'll take the Browns to winning in Denver. Broncos have now lost three in a row at six and five. The Broncos, they might be done, they might be done for. Uh, we got the Raiders against the Chiefs. The Chiefs and Raiders, have they played yet this year? They It looks like they, have, they haven't played yet this year. I'm going to give this win to the Raiders. Uh, Jimmy G is going to take down Patrick Mahomes, and suddenly the Raiders, only a half a game out there in the playoff hunt, uh, Chargers, Ravens, both of these teams need a win to stay alive, and we're going to give this win to the Ravens on the road. The Ravens are going to win this game. Chargers, their fan base is starting to lose hope as the Chargers are now 5-6, and six, but Baltimore, 7-5, and five, they stay alive in the playoff picture as well. So, yeah, this is a good season right now so far. A lot of things going well for a lot of teams. Uh, Giants against the Patriots. Giants need a win. Patriots, they are 6-4. and four. Giants, they win their second game in a row. So the New York Giants, just when you thought they were out of it, they're now 5-7. and seven. They've won back-to-back -back games. Patriots fall to 6-5. and five. Colts against the Bucks. Uh, here's a pretty much a meaningless game for the Colts, but it does matter for the Bucks because if they win this game, they're going to be tied for leading the division, and we will give this game to the Bucks. So the Bucks win uh, on the road against the Colts, who are coming off of a bye. Look at that. Colts are now 3-8. and eight. Uh, Titans against the Panthers. We'll give this game to the Titans. Titans move back to 5-6. and six. So they're still right there at 500. Could they make a run? Probably not, but we'll see. Panthers, 3-8, and eight, struggling this year. And then the Eagles and the Bills. Bills need a win. They are 6-5. and five. The Eagles also need a win. We're going to give this game to the Bills. I like the Bills to win this game, even though they're on the road. So the, bits, the Eagles are now 6-5. and five. The Eagles are out of the playoff picture in the NFC right now. That is insane. They were 5-1, and they were five and, one, and now they have gone 1-4 and four in their last five. So the Eagles, uh, I'm just going to go out and say, I think during this stretch of games, Jalen Hurts is injured because uh, they've now lost to the Dolphins, Commanders, Chiefs, and Bills. I mean, three of those four teams are good, and one of those is an upset, and they did get a win against the Cowboys in there, but... You know, the Eagles, they're kind of scuffling. It's a Super Bowl loss hangover for them. Week 13, here we go. Patriots, Chargers. Patriots, they can they, they need to win to get back on track. But the Chargers go to Foxborough and win that game. And all of a sudden, the Patriots, in two weeks, they went from leading the division to 13th in the league. That's a terrible two weeks for them. 
Uh, the Titans, they get back to 500 with a win over the Colts. So the Titans are now 6-6. Six and six. You look at this. Have they have they beat the Colts twice this year? No, they haven't played. Yeah, the Titans with back, two wins over the Colts this year. And the Titans are now 6-6. Six and six. Look at that. Titans back to 500. Uh, the Texans against the Denver Broncos. You know what? I'm going to change that. I mean, I like the Colts. I think the Colts win a game here. But Anthony Richardson, he wins that. So the Titans are 5-7. and seven. Texans, Broncos. How about this one for an upset? Texans, can they get, beat the Broncos at home? Or does Russell Wilson? Oh, we'll give Russell Wilson. So the Broncos stay alive in the playoff race. They'll win that game. Seven and five are now the Broncos. So they are hanging around that wild card picture. It's a messy picture. And then the Jaguars beating the Bengals, ten and two, or the Jaguars on Monday Night Football. Cincinnati is seven and five, still hanging alive though as well in the playoff picture. Washington against the Dolphins. Can the Commanders? They need to win. They need to win this game badly. And uh, they will at home. Washington, they are now four and nine. Steelers, they will pick up the win over the Cardinals. The Steelers are seven and five. Cardinals fall to three and ten. Uh, the Jets against the Falcons, another one. How about the Jets make it six wins in a row for Aaron Rodgers in the New York Green? They're now the number two seed in the uh, in the AFC. Rams at six and five against the Browns. They win that game. So the Rams are now seven and five. Deshaun Watson's Browns fall to seven and five as well. And we get the Packers against the Chiefs, and the Chiefs will win this one. Packers fall to uh, three and nine for them. The Chiefs at eight and four are looking pretty solid. Uh, over here, Cowboys Seahawks. I like the Seahawks to win this game on Thursday night in Dallas. Give me the Seattle Seahawks. They're now nine and three. Still the number one seed. Bucks need to win against the uh, Panthers, but instead the Panthers beat the Bucks, and now it's four and eight, four and eight, four and eight. And how about this for you? The Saints they beat the Lions. Lions fall to seven and five, and the Saints at five and seven are winning their division. Eagles, 49ers finally. Here's a big game, and give it to the Eagles. Jalen Hurts and the Eagles are back. They're seven and five, and the 49ers at five and seven. So next up we got Week 14. Things are starting to really heat up. Steelers. Against the Patriots, uh, the Steelers seven and five, Patriots six and six. Thursday night football, what's gonna happen? Give me the New England Patriots to go into the Pittsburgh and get a win. Seven and six. Now both of these teams are seven and six. Browns against the Jaguars. How about this one? The Browns can they get the upset in Cleveland? No, they can't. The Jaguars win every game. They're eleven and two. Jets against the Texans. I like the Jets. They win their seventh game in a row. Bengals will beat the Colts. The Bengals are now 8-5. They're back on the top of their division. The Bills against the Chiefs. Big game here. Give me the Bills off the bye in Kansas City. Buffalo wins this game. They are now 8-5. So Buffalo is still on t uh, hanging around in the playoff picture. The Chiefs, meanwhile, 8-5. They still lead their division. Chargers over Denver. Yes, sir. The Chargers are now 7-6. Broncos falling to out of the playoff picture again. And the Dolphins, they need a win against the Titans, and they don't get it. Tennessee uh, Tennessee is now 6-7 and seven as they beat Miami in Miami. Look out. Miami at 6-7. and seven. They're falling off. they got the Ravens. The Ravens against the Rams. Give me the Baltimore to win this game. So the Ravens are now 8-5 and five as they win off of the bye. And the Raiders are 8-5 and five as they're going to beat the Vikings. So the Raiders are now literally leading the division over the Chiefs, 8-5, there, the Ravens, Bengals, Bills and Jets, Jaguars, and the only real, you know, the only real question mark here is the Raiders, the Raiders, Ravens, Bengals. I mean, who, which, yeah, this is the interesting playoff picture right now. Titans are still right there. Patriots are right there. Dolphins. This is a really good, interesting season. Uh, Falcons, Bucks. This could be for control of the division, and the Buccaneers win it. So the Bucks are now five and eight. Falcons fall to four and nine. Then we got the Bears against the Lions. Bears four and eight. They're off the bye. Can they win this game? No, they can't. The Lions eight and five. They're now the number two seed in the NFL. Saints against the Panthers. Give me the New Orleans Saints. Saints at six and seven. So they hang on by a game over the Bucks. Saints are still leading that division. 49ers Seahawks. Here's a huge game. Give me the Niners. Niners win this, but the Seahawks are still leading the division. Uh, Cowboys. They beat the Eagles, and the Cowboys all of a sudden they have now taken over. The NFC East at 8-5. and five. They are now leading the Eagles by a game. And the Giants, they beat the Packers. Giants at 6-7. and seven. They are still alive in the playoff race as the Packers are now 3-10. and 10. And I'm wondering, is it going to tell me who's eliminated? I wish it would. I wish it would do that. Maybe no one's eliminated yet. Is that 
Would that be right? We'll look around. I don't think it's going to tell me if they're eliminated, but I want to know. I'm really curious to see. Can we go? Can we go here? And sh will it show us if they're like playoff odds or anything like that? No, I guess not. Huh? That's too bad because that, that's something that I would love to be able to see. Uh, week 15, here we go. Raiders, Chargers, this has big playoff implications. The Raiders need to win this game to stay alive. The Chargers need to win this game to stay alive. And what's going to happen? Jimmy G in Las Vegas, and the Raiders are 9-5. and five. That's huge for their playoff odds. Chargers at 7-7 seven and seven now. Uh, we got the Colts against the Steelers. How about this game? Give me, uh... Give me the Steelers. Give me the Steelers to beat the Colts. Steelers are 8-6. and six. They're stay alive in the picture. Jets, Dolphins, the Dolphins. They beat the Jets. The Jets' win streak is over, but still a 9-5. and five. We got the Titans against the Texans. I believe we already gave the Texans a win against the Titans this year. Did we not? Oh, they played twice. We'll give the Titans the win. So the Titans, Titans at 7-7 seven and seven now. They're still alive in the playoffs. Jaguars moved to 12-2 and two with a win over the Ravens. Ravens fall to 8-6. and six. And then New England against the Chiefs. I like the Chiefs to win this game. So the Chiefs are now 9-5 and five as they go into Foxborough, and the Patriots have fallen down to 7-7. Seven and seven. Browns, Bears, they give me the Browns in this game. Browns, 8-6. and six. They're still alive in that playoff picture as well. Lions, they're going to continue their hot streak. Lions move to 9-5, and five, and the Denver Broncos now at 7-7. Seven and seven. They are now out of the playoff picture entirely. Bengals, they beat the Vikings. Vikings fall to 7-7. Seven and seven. Bengals are now 9-5, and five, so they're looking pretty good. And the Buffalo Bills, they're going to beat the Dallas Cowboys. The Bills are 9-5. and five. They're looking good. The Cowboys 8-6. Uh, Panthers uh, Panthers against the Falcons. Both teams are here are 4-9. I like the Falcons. Uh, I like the Panthers. Give me the, give me the Panthers. Panthers 5-9. and nine. Uh, Packers, they're going to get a win. They're going to pick up a win against the Bucks. The Bucks fall to 5-9. and nine. The Giants beat the Saints. The Giants are now 7-7. Seven and seven. They're back. They were two and they were three. And, they were two and six. Now they're seven and seven. So the Giants are all the way back to five hundred. Meanwhile, the Saints at six and eight, still leading their division. Uh, I get the Cardinals against the 49ers. Give me the San Francisco 49ers to win that one. Uh, so now we've got San Francisco at nine and five. Um, next up, we got the Washington Commanders against the uh, Rams. Ooh, here's an interesting game. The Rams are they going to really get a wild card here? They're going to. Then they go to eight and six. I will give it to them. Actually, I, I, I want it to be more interesting. So this is a more interesting way for the season to play out. Commanders win 5-9. and nine. Now the Rams are 7-7. Seven and seven. Then we've got Seattle against Philadelphia. Huge game. Huge playoff implications in this one. And I like the Eagles to come into Seattle and win that game. So the Eagles, 8-6 and six now. Look, at that. Look out for Philadelphia. They are now right back in the playoff hunt as well. So the Giants are now the 7th seed over here. Over here we've got the Steelers, Chiefs, Bills. Okay. All right, week 16, here we go. Here we go. Starting things off with the, ooh, there's some Saturday games in this. So we'll do the Thursday first. Rams against the Saints. Rams win. So the Saints are now 6-9. and nine. The Rams are now 8-7. and seven. Then we've got the Saturday games. Steelers, Bengals. Give me the Bengals. Steelers are now 8-7. and seven. They're out of the playoff picture. Chargers, Bills. Chargers need to win this game to stay alive in the playoff hunt. Can they win it? Let's see. We're gonna say it. no. They can't. Bills ten and five, and the Chargers at seven and eight. I think that's gonna eliminate them from the playoffs this year. So the Chargers, good season. You tried your best, but you lost. The Chargers have now lost, I believe, three in a row. The Chargers have lost two in a row, and they're now out of the playoff picture. Texans, Browns. Uh, the Browns will win this game. Browns. They are nine and six. They look like they might make the playoffs right now. Broncos, Patriots. Give me Denver at home. Denver at eight and seven. Russell Wilson. He's staying alive. He's ahead of the Chargers, but he still has not ahead of the Chiefs and the Raiders. Chiefs, they beat the Raiders. The Chiefs, they say, this division is ours. Jimmy G, you tried your best, but we are 10-5, and five and we are winning this division. Thank you very much. Jets against the Commanders. Jets win this one. They're 10-5. and five. They're going toe-for-toe -toe against the Bills. So the Jets and the Bills, this is a really good divisional race right now. Both of these teams are 10-5. and five. Commanders fall to 5-10. and 10. Falcons against the Colts. Falcons four and ten. They need a win at home. They get it. So the Falcons move to five and ten. Uh, to actually, again, I'm gonna change my mind here. I think the Colts will win this. Colts make the Colts five and ten. Make the Falcons four and eleven here. So we're gonna switch things up. 
Titans against Seattle. Give me the Seahawks on the road. Titans fall to 7-8, and eight, and they are now eliminated from the playoffs. Bucks against the Jags. Ooh, how about this game? Bucks, they need a win, but give me the Jags on the road. Jags are now 13-2. and two. And then we got the Dolphins against the Cowboys. Uh, this is a game that I think could go either way. I'm going to give it to the Cowboys. Dolphins fall to 7-8. and eight. And the 49ers win at home to move to 10-5 and five over the Ravens. Ravens at 8-7. and seven. They are now out of the playoff picture as well. So this is uh, the playoff picture is looking pretty solid right now, the way I see things. Um, Panthers, Green Bay will give this one to Carolina at home. They move to 6-9. and nine. They're now ahead of the Saints with the head-to-head. Uh, we got the Vikings, Vikings, Lions. Give me the Vikings. Give me Minnesota. Minnesota, they got a wild card now. The Bears, they're going to beat the Cardinals. The Bears are now 5-10. And, and the Eagles, they will, they do take down the Giants. The Eagles, 9-6. and six. So let's see here. Ooh, this is really, this is a crazy way this is, came out. Um, ooh, wow. I love, I just love predict, making these predictions, man. It's because I'm get to decide. Like this is gonna be a crazy finish to the season. Browns Jets starting things off with Deshaun Watson. He takes down Aaron Rodgers. Browns ten and six. Jets ten and six. Both of these teams are gonna be in the playoffs. We got the Colts and the Raiders. The Colts are gonna upset the Raiders. The Colts are now six and ten. The Raiders are nine and seven. How about that? Ravens Dolphins. How about this game? Ravens. They absolutely need to win. So do the Dolphins. That the Ravens they do pick up the win. So the Ravens are now nine and seven. Dolphins are 7-9. and nine. They're out of it. The Dolphins are missing the playoffs this year. The Buffalo Bills, they beat the Patriots. They're now 11-5. They're back atop their division with the number two seed in football. How about that? How about the Texans? The Texans against the Titans. The Texans are going to upset the Titans. Titans at 7-9. and nine. They're done for. Texans 5-11. and 11. Solid way to finish out the year season. C.J. Stroud picks up a win against, you know, maybe it's not Tannehill anymore. Maybe it's somebody else. We've got the Chiefs against the Bengals. This is a massive game with huge implications for seeding. Chiefs are 10-5. and five, Bengals are 10-5. and five, And the Chiefs, the Kansas City Chiefs, win this game. They're now 11-5. and five. They say, we are not going anywhere. Look out, Joe Burrow, because you got a tough one coming from us. And the Broncos in Denver, they take it down the Chargers. Denver at 9-7, and seven, so they are still alive in the playoffs. And so we got the Jaguars against the Panthers. Jags will win this. And the Seattle Seahawks beat the Steelers. So you look at this with one week to go. The Jags are in. They have clinched the number one seed. The Bills and the Chiefs could get are still alive for the two seed. And I guess technically, and then the Browns and Bengals are tied atop the North with the Jets and Ravens in your other wild card spots. Who is still alive? The Steelers are still alive. The Broncos are still alive, and the Raiders are still alive. So you got three te- you got three teams that are still alive. For the final wild card spot, because if the if the Steelers win, and these teams all lose, the Steelers could technically still get in there. So that's what we're looking at for the AFC. And the NFC, how about this? Cowboys against the Lions. Give me the Dallas Cowboys, baby. Dallas ten and six. Lions are now nine and seven. How about the Eagles? They're going to win. The, the Eagles still atop their division, 10-6. and six. The NFC East hasn't been won by the same team back-to-back years since 2004. The Eagles are trying to change that. They're 10-6. and six. They're looking pretty good. How about this? The Giants against the uh, against the Rams. Giants, 7-8. and eight. Rams, 8-7. Eight and seven. If the Giants win, they stay alive in the playoff picture. They do, so the Giants are now 8-8. Eight and eight. Rams, 8-8. Eight and eight. Commanders against the 49ers. The 49ers will win that game. They're now 11-5. Um, then we got the Buccaneers against the Saints. Who? How about this game? Bucks, Saints. This could be for the division. Give me New Orleans in Tampa. New Orleans wins. New Orleans is now seven and nine. The Bears five and ten. The Falcons are four and eleven. Give me the Falcons. So now both of those teams are five and eleven. And finally, the Vikings against the Green Bay Packers. Jordan Love in Minnesota. Kirk Cousins. What does he do in big games? What does he do in big games that mean a lot? He loses. The Packers win. Packers beating the Vikings, and the Vikings are now 8-8. and eight. Oh, if I really want to do that, I'm going to give it to the Vikings. Give it to the Vikings. Vikings are 9-7. and seven. Vikings and the Lions, so here's, how, here's something. Vikings and Lions are tied. Eagles and Cowboys are tied. Hawks and Niners are tied. Wow, the NFC is going to go crazy in the last week of the season, and here we go. Let's do it. Patriots. Jets. The Patriots win this game. The Jets are 10-7. and seven. All right. Patriots 8-9. and nine. They missed the playoffs either way. Dolphins-Bills. We're going to give this one to the Dolphins. Dolphins win. Dolphins 8-9. and nine. 
Again, Bills they win the division 11 and 6. Okay, how about this? Ravens against the Steelers. The Steelers on the road win this game. The Ravens 9 and 8. They might miss the playoffs because the Bengals are going to beat the Browns. The Bengals 11 and 6. The Browns are 10 and 7. The Browns are in. Colts Texans big game end the season doesn't really matter. Give it to the Colts. The Colts finish out 7 and 10. Solid way for them to finish the season. The Titans they do win against the Jaguars backups. The Titans will get eight and nine as they're finished. Chargers against the uh, against the Chiefs. Chiefs will win. Chiefs move to twelve and five. Chargers at seven and ten. Yikes! And finally, the Raiders and the Broncos. Here you go. This is for the final spot in the playoffs because the Raiders, whoever wins this, will be ten and seven. Jimmy G against Russell Wilson. They used to compete against the Hawks and Niners. Now we've set up a Week 18 Raiders Broncos. This is almost positively getting flexed to Sunday Night Football. Who's going to win this game between Las Vegas and Denver? Let us know down in the comments below. I'm going to take the Raiders. Jimmy Garoppolo, Mr. Victorious, he gets the win. And the Raiders winning the final game of the season to punch their ticket to the playoffs, a 10-7 and and a wild card. And uh, then so we got the Raiders, Browns, and Jets, three new wild card teams, Dolphins, Ravens, and, and Chargers were your wild card teams last year. They all miss out. Here's the NFC. What are we going to do here? Panthers against the Bucks. Ooh, good game. Give me the Panthers who moved to 7-9. and nine. We've got the Commanders against the Cowboys. Give me the Commanders. The Commanders win. They move to uh, what's it going to be for them? The Commander, the Cowboys are now 11-6. and six. Eagles, they lose to the Giants. No way. The Giants are 9-8. and eight. The Eagles are 10-7. and seven. And the Cowboys win the NFC East. The curse, all the Eagles had to do was beat the Giants, but they couldn't do it. The Giants at 9-8. and eight. Lions, Vikings, this is for the division, and the Lions win this one. The Lions are now 10-7, and seven. and finally we've got the Packers against the Bears. Who are the Packers? The Packers 4-12, and 12. Bears 5-11. and 11. Give me Justin Fields and the Bears. The Bears will... Well, the Bears will lose to Green Bay. Green Bay wins that game. The Bears are 5-12. and 12. Justin Fields, he might be officially a bust if the Bears really do go 5-12 and 12 this year. Then we got the Saints and the Falcons. The Saints, if they win this game, they win the division. If the Falcons win, the Panthers win the division. So this is a huge game for the Saints. But at home, Derek Carr gets the job done. The Saints are 8-9, and nine, and they are in the playoffs here we go. Cardinals against the Seahawks. The Seahawks win. They're 12 and 5, the number one seed in football. And here we go. The Rams against the Niners. If the Rams win, the they will miss the playoffs still because the Giants will make it. So the Rams have nothing to play for. And what are they going to do? They're going to go out there and beat the 49ers in the last week of the season. I feel like the Rams need something to play for. So I'm going to go in and make a change. And I don't like to do this very often, but I'm going to go in and make a change. The Giants are not going to be 9-8. and eight. The Giants are going to have lost this game to the Rams. So the Rams are going to go 10-7. and seven. The Giants are going to go 8-9. and nine. That's, my, that's my only change. I think the Rams are better than the Giants. And I think the Rams deserve to make the playoffs more than the Giants. So the Rams, the number six seed, the LA Rams, the Eagles at 10-7. and seven. Oh my goodness. This is a crazy playoff picture. Let's move in to the wild card round. We've got the, starting things off, the AFC. I need to get some water right now. My gosh. Whew. We've got the Bills against the Browns. In uh, This is the divisional round. Josh Allen against Deshaun Watson. Are you kidding me? What a game this is going to be. I'm going to take the home team, Buffalo Bills. It's going to be really close, though. I think Deshaun will ball out his first playoff game since 2019, but he's going to lose it. Bengals hosting Aaron Rodgers and the Jets. Aaron Rodgers, he has 10-7. and seven. He turned his season around completely to make the playoffs. Give me Aaron Rodgers and the New York football Jets. The Jets winning this game. The Jets are going to the final eight as they beat the Bengals. And then we've got the Chiefs and the Raiders. Chiefs are going to win this game, not even close. So here you go. In the AFC, that's who you've got. NFC, we've got the Saints against the Niners. I like the Niners here. We get the Lions. I like them. And then the Cowboys and the Eagles. This is a big game. The seven seed against the two seed. And I'm going to have to go with the Eagles. The upset win in Dallas. Jalen Hurts sends Dak Prescott packing, and the Eagles, 
they beat the Dallas. They split the series, I believe, right? We got the Eagles. They won. They lost this one, but they won. Where's yeah? They, they won the first game. They lost the second one, and they win the third. So the Eagles are going back to the final eight. Here we go. It's the it's the divisional round. We've got Chiefs against the Bills, Jaguars against the Jets. Give me the Chiefs. That's easy. Give me the Seahawks. Give me the 49ers over the Lions. The upset win. Brock Purdy making it in over the Lions. And then we've got the Jaguars and the Jets. This is going to be such a good game in Jacksonville. Aaron Rodgers, you know how he plays in the playoffs. Aaron Rodgers and the Jets are going to take down Trevor Lawrence and the Jaguars. So we move to the championship weekend. It's Rodgers against Mahomes. It's Purdy against Geno Smith. Over here, this is the game that everyone's going to be watching, the AFC championship game. Aaron Rodgers, what is his record in championship games? He is 1-5 and five in the championship round, and now he is going to be 1-6 and six because, ladies and gentlemen, Patrick Mahomes is going back to the Super Bowl for the fourth time in his young career. Mahomes going to the Super Bowl, and over here, Seattle against San Francisco. Two average quarterbacks against two elite defenses. Seattle won the division by a game. Seattle, they split the head-to-head -head series. They lost to the 49ers in the playoffs last year, and Pete Carroll, unfortunately for him, the number one seed is going down because the 49ers are going to win this game. Brock Purdy is the next Tom Brady. Officially, we figured it out. Brock Purdy is going to the Super Bowl, and it's the 49ers, it's the Chiefs, it's a rematch of 2020, I believe it was 2020, and who is going to win this game? Did the Chiefs win? Does Patrick Mahomes get his third ring? No, he does not, because the 49ers and Brock Purdy are winning the Super Bowl this year. It pains me to say as a Seahawks fan, but I know Brock Purdy is going to be a winner in this league. He has only lost one game in his career. And I think that he is going to be following in Tom Brady's footsteps as the late round draft pick who becomes a NFL legend. So let's just hope that he gets traded before that happens and gets out of the Seahawks division so I can properly be able to root for him because right now I have to root against him. So it's going to suck for the Seahawks. It's going to be really painful. Uh, if the Seahawks do win, I would be ecstatic. But right now we've got the 49ers winning the whole thing, the five seed as a wild card. How is this going to happen? What is the biggest surprise of this? There are some big ones. There are some big surprises if you look at the combined standings here. Like, how about this? Jaguars. Jaguars end up at the top. You know, see overall record. How do we find overall? There we go. I don't even know how you see it, but it, I don't know what this is showing me. But anyways, yeah, comment down below, guys. What is the biggest surprise? What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? Am I totally stupid? Is there a team that I don't believe in that you think I should? Is there a team that I do believe in that you think I shouldn't? Uh, which games are going to be the greatest? Uh, how is Week 18 going to play out? Let me know all that, guys, down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. This has been super fun for me. I hope it's been fun for you watching this two-part segment of my my Off the top of my head, again, I didn't think about this before I made them. This is just this is just me spitballing, going week by week and saying, I think this team's stronger. I think that team's better. I think this team – and, you know, there are some tough ones. I'm sure there will be many mistakes, but we're going to go through it week by week. I will tweak my predictions each week. We'll see which ones I got right, which ones I got wrong. Thank you guys for watching. This has been the NW Sportscast. Go Seattle.